By the end of this video, you're going to learn a self-help technique for carpal tunnel syndrome to hopefully avoid surgery. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a chiropractor for over 25 years. I'm going to give you realistic advice based on my experience as well as the scientific literature. Now what the heck is carpal tunnel syndrome? Carpal tunnel syndrome is a pinched nerve in your wrist. It'll cause numbness, tingling, burning. It'll cause a weakness. You won't be able to grip things. But most of the uh, symptoms you'll feel are in the thumb, the first finger, the second finger, and half of the ring finger. That's primarily where you'll feel it. And a lot of people will experience more symptoms at nighttime. So here's what I'm going to teach you today for your carpal tunnel syndrome. It's called nerve flossing. And what happens is the nerve of the carpal tunnel is called the median nerve. And it goes right through the middle there and it actually goes to your thumb, your first finger, your second finger, and half the ring finger. And what we're going to do is we're going to start sliding. Imagine my pen is a nerve and we're going to start sliding the nerve. One of the disadvantages of having carpal tunnel syndrome is that it's just, it destroys your life because it affects everything that you do. You can't grip things very strongly. You can't hold a cup of coffee. It's, you're always trying to shake it out. And as the swelling occurs, your body will start to deform it, uh, create adhesions. And these adhesions stop the sliding action of the nerve. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your palm of your hand. You're going to extend the wrist backwards like this. You're going to grab your thumb and your first finger at the same time, just like this. And you're going to extend your wrist. Then what you're going to do is you're going to extend your elbow out, locking it like this, and then you're going to bend your head to the side that you're stretching. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bend your head to the opposite side and then let go of your hand, flex your wrist, and flex your elbow. So then you're going to bend to the side grab your thumb and your first finger, extend your wrist, extend your elbow and bend. That's one way of doing nerve flossing. Another way is to simply just extend your wrist, extend your elbow, extend your arm backwards and bend to the side. Then when you bend to the opposite side, then you will bring your hand like this, flexing it and bringing it close to you. So you repeat these back and forth, back and forth for 15 to 20 repetitions numerous times per day. It could be three times per day, five times a day. I personally will recommend to patients to do it starting out real slow because you don't want to overdo things. So starting out with 10, 15 repetitions three times a day would be a wise decision to start. And then as you start to notice more improvement, you can increase that to 15 to 20 repetitions five times a day. Nerve flossing allows the nerve to move back and forth in the groove, which helps its mobility, it helps the health of the nerve, and it'll start to eliminate a lot of your symptoms. So if you've tried this, let us know in the comments section down below and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, you're free to ask in the comments section.